Tiff Benson here. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. In today's video, I'm going to share with you a demo and review of the NARS Long Wear Radiant Foundation. I've been wearing this foundation and loving it. So if you'd like to hear more about this product and also see a demo, make sure you keep watching. So leave a comment right now and let me know if you've tried this foundation. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this natural radiant long wear foundation by NARS. I love it, which is why I wanted to bring it here and talk about it here on the channel. I will leave a timestamp below in the description box just in case you want to speed ahead to the product description, the demo, or my final review. So let's jump in to the product description. I'm heading over to Sephora.com to check it out. What it is, a buildable full coverage foundation with up to 16 hours of lightweight natural fade resistant wear. It's full coverage has a natural finish, formulation is liquid, it's for skin types that are normal, dry, and combination. It also says that it has here a blend of fruit extracts, raspberry, apple, and watermelon. Helps to support skin's elastic fibers to smooth the look of skin's texture over time for optimal radiance. It also has ingredient callouts like phthalates, formaldehydes, parabens, and there's some other ingredients that I won't, I won't bore you with. This is pretty impressive because it is available in 34 skin shades and there are clinicals on this foundation. In a one week independent US customer study of 65 participants, 91% agreed the foundation blends effortless, effortlessly which it does. 85% agree that the foundation feels weightless, which I'm a part of that 85% because I think it feels, <laughs> I think it's weightless as well. 87% said skin's texture seemed improved. I don't wear this foundation all the time. I wear it typically when, either when I'm going out or, or when I'm filming here. I think it's like one of those studio looking foundations. So I can't speak to that claim, but let's go ahead and jump into the demo so you can see what it looks like starting from a fresh canvas, clean, no makeup on my skin. Okay. So it says I have to shake it well, and I am. I am in the shade Morea, and I'll be using my Artiste brush to go ahead and get this party started. <laughs> go ahead and get this party started. I'll swatch it on the back of my hand just so you can see. Um, it's not runny. It's not runny at all. It kind of just stays put. It's a little bit of a thicker foundation. Skin is pretty clear. I'm not really covering up too many dark spots. So, scratch myself. I'll just swipe it on. Ooh. That, my friends, is full coverage. Okay. Full coverage. So that was, oh, this is so pretty. I love this foundation too. You know, it's like, this is like, to me, my glammy puss foundation because it's so full coverage. It's so full coverage that, I don't know. I just feel like you gotta be going out someplace special or doing something fun or like, wedding or like beauty makeup and because this one is a little bit more browner than my actual skin tone I'm just gonna make sure I pull that foundation down my neck because I don't want to look too different from my neck I don't really like to put too much foundation on my forehead just kind of bring whatever is left over up top. So this is one layer. I'm gonna add a one more pump just for good measure. I mean, it is very pretty, very, very pretty. 
Okay, so now that I have my foundation on, I am going to finish the rest of my makeup off camera and I will be back in a second. All right, I'm back. I'm gonna take my hair down because why not? So this is the final look of the foundation. I'm gonna share with you the products that I used. NARS Radiant Concealer along with the foundation, the Radiant Foundation. Flaunt Lashes, they're my lashes and they're stunning. I'll leave a link in the description. My Dior Blush, which is, this is like my handy dandy makeup mirror, but it's also my Dior Rosy Glow Blush, which I love because it does give like a really rosy glow. Or my eyeshadow, which this is what I always do. Uh, typically when I want to go for a little bit of a glammy look, I use the Studio Fix and this is MW50 to just put it on, just put it on my lids, which I kind of, I like the, the look of it. Brows by Benefit, they know how to do really good brows. I use my Artiste brush to apply. Oval 7, Sephora Collection Brush On Lash Glue, which I absolutely love. I love the way it holds my lashes on, my Flaunt Beauty lashes. Lip Gloss is by MAC. This is in the color Delight. So I love wearing this foundation. I think it's so, 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 so pretty. I typically wear this when I wanna do like a glam look full coverage where I want my face to look together and I kind of want to look snatched and kind of give you like that Instagram catfish look. <laughs> it's just a really pretty foundation. It wears really, really nicely. This doesn't give me too much trouble with breakouts or anything like that. I normally don't wear full coverage foundation all the time, so it doesn't it's not necessarily going to give my skin too many issues anyway. But again, just for those moments where you want to jazz it up and look more beautiful and, you know, put together. I love it. I, I think it looks fabulous. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. As far as oiliness, my skin is, is super oily, so I will always get a little bit oily. But what I do is I'll just pat it with some paper or I will touch it up with a little bit of pressed powder. I mean, there's just no way to get around it. I feel like that with any foundation because I particularly like a natural or radiant finish to my foundation. I'd rather have my foundation look more radiant and pat with powder during the day than have a matte foundation to start with and then I just look flat. I never crease or crack with this foundation, which is also a plus. It doesn't move around too much once you put it on your face. I love the fact that it's sulfate free, paraben free, phthalate free. When it comes to putting foundation on your face or anything on your face, really, I feel like you have to kind of be conscious and aware of the ingredients that you're putting on, just in case you have sensitive skin like myself, or even just because, like why put in unnecessary ingredients that you don't need, right? It also claims that it's a weightless foundation, and I do agree with that. I feel like it feels very light on the skin, and I don't know, like it just feels like second skin, but just really, really better. Obviously really, really better, right? <laughs> I mean, I think it looks great. So when I wear a foundation like this, it's typically when I'm either going out, like a night out, date night, something like that, or, if I'm sitting down to record. So I don't normally wear it for an extended period of time. That's just how I wear my makeup. But I can say that I've never had any problems with it creasing or cracking or breaking apart or like falling apart or getting overly greasy. So that is also a plus. So did you enjoy this video? If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And also, if it is your first time here, make sure and subscribe. Turn on your notifications so that you can be notified every time that I post a video here on YouTube. I have two channels here on YouTube. One of them is solely dedicated to fragrance, and this channel is all about beauty, skincare, hair care, just making yourself feel more beautiful so that we can all live a more confident, beautiful, well-lived life.
and I love it. So do subscribe if this is your first time here so that you don't miss out on any of my news and updates. Thank you so much for watching. Love you forever. Watch what's up next and I will catch you in the next one.